Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 15 of Operencia, The Stolen Sun. Last time, I worked my way through this copper forest, trying to get a key made so that I can meet the god of the forge? The god of blacksmithing? Hadur, I think is his name. All things that would be easily solved by me just looking at the journal. But... Let's move on. So, I have a downstairs to check out, which might tell me how to use the... Might tell me how to use the uh, forge machine. If not, then I'll go back and look at it myself. But, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going, because there's a lot to cover. I want to get to my meeting with the god, or whatever he is for real, uh, before the end of the episode. Hadur, I don't know. Are they really gods, or are they just extremely powerful individuals? I, I'm going to go on the assumption, because it's a mythological thing, and because we literally have a star in our party, that they are, in fact, gods. All right, Sebastian, is this bow better for you? 3 to 18... Crit chance, it is better. But you lose a lot on the set if I take this off. Starting with the crit chance and then dropping from there. I think I'll give it to somebody else. It's, uh, you know what? I'll give it to Yoshka. Yeah, I'll give it to Yoshka. He needs an upgrade. I have enough archery, uh, enough dexterity, that I might be able to make use of it. But, alright, come here, you. But, really, it would be better served in the hands of Yoshka. You no alright, alright, come on. Come on. Let's get this out of the way, come on. I will... not lightning, I guess. Uh, let's try to kill. Alright, let's try to whirlwind. So close. Ay, there we go. Had to waste that crit. Uh, seven. That'll hit everybody. Kill nobody. That's alright. That's alright. We've got... Ah, oh, Two! Two hit points left! And now I have to waste a turn. I'm gonna try to kill this guy in the back. Well, alright. So, we'll kill him first. I'm and so then sorry. this... Uh-oh. Uh, and then this one. Okay. And then this one. Oh, God. We gotta get rid of him. Um... Gila, can you... Yeah, I'll shoot him, and then I'll try to... kill this one before he gets a chance to go. Number... four? I hope so. Come on, crit! Nope. A thousand battles. That was a waste. A thousand victories. That was a waste. I tried. I tried. Well, I got another whip. Not that I'm going to use it, but... Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Hila. Hela. Where's that whip? Oh, she doesn't have enough for agility. Ah, all right. Let's, um... Let's mass heal. Sure. We're in a position where it would be useful. There we go. And then we need to heal up... My healer. Kind of a waste, but okay. I see four locked doors in a row. Someone really didn't want outsiders like us in here. The note we found referenced the four elements, fire, earth, water, and air. Maybe there's a connection. Oh, no doubt there's a connection. I just need to figure out how to get the uh, keys for this area. Uh, let's see. Should I keep going, or should I turn around and go back? I gotta meet with Hadur, right? I gotta figure out how to use those machines to craft the keys. This doesn't seem like a big problem here. Uh, I can't use this? Okay. 
Oh, that's supposed to get that door open, huh? Well, okay. Are there any other... Any, any other options up here? No. Alright, this is just a... Hup, hup. All right, it's just a nothing right now. Okay, so I guess we're going to craft that key sooner than I had expected. I still can't get that, huh? All right. So this was just a detour, I suppose. Just a profitable, time-wasting detour. That's okay, though. That's okay. We'll figure something out, I guess. Where do I need to go? Should I go back to that pit? Or should I go to this thing and try to get it to work? I'm gonna go back to the pit, because there was still something I didn't do, and that was getting it... the the gauge to 30... 35, or... I think it was 35. So I just go up and over... Yeah, okay. That's easy enough. I'm still looking for a place to use this copper crown. I might have missed it. It might have been right out in the open and I just didn't see it. Alright, what am I... Yeah, this way. Okay. Alright. There's gotta be a key here somewhere, right? Alright. 35. So if I do 11... Oh, I gotta switch it around. Alright. If I do 11... Twice. And then seven. I should be able to hit... 35. The pot can't go any lower than this. Not that we want it to anyway. Okay. Can I... Is there any... Good. Good. I forgot I had that key. Snake staff, huh? Let me look at that real quick. Chilla. Poison damage. Okay, so it's basically worthless here. Alright. Well, uh, I guess at that point we just bring everything up, huh? Whatever metal comprises that key must be completely unmeltable. Oh! To the land of the gods. Basement key unlocked. Great. Or, or not unlocked, but you know, found. Why can't I? All right. I guess I had to get the key, and then whatever's in the basement, I will get. Okay. Uh, where was the basement from here? There was that door right there, right? Please tell me this key doesn't go to this. Oh, no. Well, only three more keys to go. I... That sucks. That's not progress. That, that's just me being lost. Um... Okay. Alright. Okay. What can I do? Well, I have to figure out what this machine is. That's all there is to it. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go back to the forge. Be ah, dang it. Let's go back to the forge because... Well, partly because I feel like it, but also because I've exhausted every other option except that one last thing. Maybe if I place the branches, they will be laid out in a pattern that makes sense to me. That's that's literally the only thing I can hope for. One of these? No. One of these. No. Where does that copper crown go? Maybe I haven't gotten to the right area yet. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, is that I haven't gotten to the right area yet. I'm actually going the wrong way. This way. Okay. 
let, let's try to lay down the branches and then see There's what's no left. use in placing anything here before it fully functions once more. Okay. Well, that's great to know. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Uh, are you seeing the smoke? Uh, that that was the same pattern. It just did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, are you? Uh, are you kidding me? Okay. All right. All right. Sometimes you know it just takes a different perspective. That's all. Uh, and that one's three, right? Yeah, sometimes you just have to step back from a problem and take a closer look at it. That's all. Excellent. This machine should now be in full working order. Okay. Sure. All right. I mean, I'm kind of mad that it was not so apparent, but... Okay, sure. So now what? Now what? Maybe if I pull the lever Everything again? Everything is in place. We need to adjust the dials once more. What am I adjusting the dials for? Maybe this changed? Oh, it did. Okay. One. Two. Alright, so this is one. One. Two. Okay. So, this is two, which is the same. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Well, I got it eventually. Well I do believe we have this now. So that's okay. It's fine. It wasn't too obtuse. So, I mean, what else is there to say? Really heavy. Here you go, Meze. Copper uh, gave the level. Got it. Melt the copper. Okay, so now I'm going to travel back. Now I'm going to travel back to the pit. So we will cut here and jump over there. So I took a detour because I was testing out the magic shovel. And I found two treasure chests so far. Uh, this one I thought was important enough to start the recording over uh, because of the ring and the recipe. But if we look at the map, I also found one right here in the corner. You know this house just sitting out here in the forest. There was one right here that had another two-handed weapon in it. Not quite as good as the two-handed axe that I've been using, but it does more damage, so I might switch to it in the future. Uh, but this one had a ring and a spell book and a recipe in it, so Chilla? Is this spell book better? Where did it go? Uh, this one. Whoa! 55 intelligence? That's just better. Okay. Okay. Um, what about the ring? Wisdom 10. Well, Wisdom 10 would give me better resistances. Everybody's got a low Wisdom. Well, these two are okay. Yeah, and I don't want to give up... I don't want to give up the agility for it. You know what? Being that she's filling a tank role for me, I'll give her the Wisdom. Sure, what did that pump me up to? 27, 22%. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. All chests have been found. Well, thank you, game. I'm at secrets 2 out of 4. That's... not... okay. Oh, well, the reason I wanted to mention this other chest is because it had a basement key in it. That's important, because you're not going to get anywhere without that key. Okay. 
Now I have the copper. I should be able to do this. Let's put it in. I said... Let's put it in. Okay. And then do this. So, I think I can get an 11. Nope. Nope. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. I only needed one 11. I mean, I didn't need... Ah! I needed the 11, but not the 7. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Oh, thank God. Save me the hassle of having to pull it back up. But it is super hot now. How am I... Don't tell me I just scoop it out with my hands. We have our molten copper. It's we molten! We mold to create the key. Am I the only one amazed that Chilla simply reached inside to grab the copper with no regard for scorching heat? A star from the heavens walks amongst us indeed. Yeah. I mean, okay. That make I, I will buy that. That Chilla just reached in with her hands and picked it out herself. So I need a mold. Where was there a mold of a key? Maybe down in the basement. Uh, maybe that room that shoots the um, whatever it's called, the blobs of green energy. Maybe that is the mold room. I mean, I don't know what else that box is for, so maybe that's it. How do I get there from here? I need to go out and around and down and then over. Okay. I'm going to cut to there from here. This time for sure, because there's no more treasure chests to find. Okay, well, in my continuing frustrating lack of self-awareness or environmental awareness... The third key I need is right there. Yes. I had to look it up. Yes. I am aware that I was complaining for no good reason. Yes. I feel like a fool. Let's move on. So. I I should save. I should save. I should absolutely save. Because I don't want to have to. I've ar it's taken so long I've already forgotten everything I've done. I don't want to have to do it again. So, good. Alright. Let's go open up that uh, third key door. And the reason I'm doing that and not hunting for the fourth key is because... I'm not going to find the fourth key in the forest. No matter how hard I search. We still lack the wind key. We do. But does anyone else feel a draft from above? Well, yep. Okay. And that will get us to the mold. Oh, I wish I hadn't had to look that up, but I was getting frustrated. Seriously. Uh, and it doesn't make for good television. All right. A proud horseman once wore this armor. Right. Well, what does it do? 14. Oh. Lightning resist, negative 5, of course. Also, evasion, negative 2%. So, really, it's just a tank's armor, if you're not going for evasion. That means Meze gets it, I guess. And not in this area, because um, those enemies, those bugs... I don't want... Remember when we were on the other side of this door, unable to open it? Well, now we can. What? Oh my god! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah, oh, that door! That door, okay. Okay. Alright. Good. Great. Fantastic. Fill the mold! Damn, that's hot! 
We must keep the key in its mold until we can find a way to cool it off. Pull down the mold. Yeah, no kidding. Why don't we just have Chilla carry it? Seriously. Okay, I'm missing something. Ah, good. Um, where am I gonna cool it off at? The lake that we were just in? Well, that's upstairs, but you know what I mean. The lake. Was there a place outside that had water that I could cool it off at? I don't think so. Wait, where's the... Oh, it's over here. Right. I think the closest place with water was over here. Can I just dump it in the water? Maybe. You know, thinking back on it, the... The little hint guide thing in the journal may have been helpful. It said the this four elements. Is very clear and, and cold. cold. Yes, I get it. Um, the fact that it, the fact that that dialogue only triggers once I've figured out. Hey, maybe I should dump the mold in the lake. Bothers me. It should be one of the first things. Anyways, anyways, anyways. That journal thing mentioned the four elements, and this is the only water of any significance in this forest. Probably should include me in, but whatever. We're here now. I had to look it up. It's okay. Let's just do this thing and move on. I will grab it, Yoshka. It's practically cooling off my warm hands. Anyone mind if I just dip my fingers in this pond for a while? Chilla, without your guidance, we would not have this at all. Yes, this is indeed a key worthy of the gods. Hadur will honor your presence. Still, he may not like it. He can be a bit... grumpy. Let us hope he sees the value you offer in finding his missing brother. Okay, this fine key not only provides access to the Firesmith King's castle, but it also opens some secret doors. Okay. Press O. Copper forest key. Yeah. Uh, grow stairways? Right, right. That was back for the, uh... That was back for the, um... Seeds. Items. Uh, I've seen a few unopenable doors around Operencia. Okay, yeah. Now I could go back to the forest and open that door from so long ago. I think maybe I should do that. I think maybe we should have a little side trek side session. Let's go back to the fireplace. Well... No, let's head out to this door in the forest and get this one first. And then we'll go back and open that door. Hey, I don't even have to select it on the bar. That's awesome. Secrets found. Any new level ups? Guys? Anybody? Please tell me this isn't a trapped room. Uh, oh, it's just this one treasure chest. Okay. Well, I found another set piece for that, uh, for that set. Chainmail, evasion, lightning resist. Oh, that's just better. That's just better than the Hussar armor. Wow. Yeah, great. Okay. And then the necklace. 20 intelligence. She could wear it. Oh, it's a five wisdom. It is ten energy. But then... I don't know. To get the best out of it, I would need to wear the helmet, too, right? Intelligence two. Yeah, because that would give me ten... Well, technically, fifteen intelligence. What if I wore the axe as well? I think this is a different set item. 
Increases your initiative and damage by 20% if Kella has summoned an active minion. Yeah, I think Shepherd's Axe is different from the Hood of Gon Gonsol. Remove the energy cost of all Underworld skills. Oof. Oh, man. Um. Well, that's a Kella Axe, so maybe I should give this to her. Strength and Vigor are not as good. Crit chance is better. To hit chance is slightly worse, but it armor pierces. Is this better than this weapon? Not really. No. She gets intelligence for it. It hits... It's got a better rating. It hits... Well, its maximum hit point is one better. I'm missing something, though, from this set. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Because that's... It's obviously not as good without the full set. So I'll just leave it. But that does bother me, because I found both the axe and the hat on the world tree. Is the rest of the set on the world tree? I don't need this anymore. We can remove you. Well. Okay. I'm gonna go to the fire pit, fireplace, the campfire. And I'm gonna jump back to the first. There we go. Okay. Simple. Simple, really. Maybe I should level up. Maybe I should level up before I go in there. Okay. Uh, Chilla, what do we got for you? We could do healing bonus to get restore. Or we could go for song of the hero. Or we could take invisibility, which would give me silence. Silence is worth it, I think. Especially as we keep going. I need... Oof, I need all three in this so, this brings me back from inca incapacitated, though. Ugh. Well, let me pick up the lightning damage bonus. Yeah, that would have been helpful on the world tree. Uh, agility, I will raise. And some more wisdom? More intelligence. Um... More wisdom, I think. More defense for her. Sure. Anything new here? No? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about blind. Okay. All right. No level up? Oh, God. Hi. Uh, maybe I should use my potion to bring Sebastian up. All right. Come on, you. This is a boss fight, right? Yeah, prototype. I resists, instant kill, and control immune. All right. So we're just going to have to smash his face in, I guess. What did he do to me? Lightning damage? A lot of it. Woof. Okay. Well, he's immune to instant kill, so let's ice him up. Well, he's also got high resist, but... He should be lightning... He should not be lightning immune, right? Five. Oh my god. Five? All right, let's taunt. If he's going to hit anybody, it's going to be my tank. Let's also summon my undead creature here. Okay. All right. So I guess we just keep wailing away at him. Um, I don't really need to heal. I will regenerate my tank, though. And then... Control immune. So it would probably be better to counterattack him, right? I, I mean, he's just hitting... He hasn't done anything yet. But he keeps... I keep getting shocked by a lick... Okay, alright, okay. Alright. Hit an enemy with a grueling strike. Weapon damage. Make it sleep. That's not gonna happen. Sleep or bash. Maybe I can... Oh, removes all deep buffs. Heck yeah. I should have led with that. Okay. Okay. All right. We're doing okay. I'm going to defend. Get some energy back. I'm going to shoot him. 
I guess. Uh, defend. And... You know what? I'm gonna use a cherry bomb. He can burn for a little bit, for all I care. Okay, so far so good. Let's try number six. Just one shot. All right. Let's try number five. Since I can't really stun him. Defend. Oof. Ow. Oh, Sebastian. Okay. All right. Taunting isn't working anymore. Let's do that. And then number four? I'm I'm gonna use my energy thing on me. And then we'll use mass heal just to keep everybody alive. Uh yeah, because that's still got a cooldown. And then crush. Yeah, let's see how that does. Nine damage. Okay, well. That's what the high resists means. I should probably not try that again. Ten damage. Come on, crit, man! Okay, let's defend. And then... I, I guess I can hit her with Bash. Wasn't gonna do much, but it's stronger than the normal attack. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Do I... Can I heal? Yeah, I can heal me. And that's it. Um... I, should get, I guess I should do five again. That's like my heaviest damage dealing thing right now. Oh, Word of Life is still on cooldown. I need that to get rid of the electricity. Okay, all right, we we can survive. Never mind, all my energy gone, just like that. Well, you know it is a boss, so let's use a win combo. Sure, get some energy back, and then just hit him. I guess just hit him. All right. Word of life. Remove those debuffs. Number six. Two shots didn't do much. I'm just gonna hit him. Yeah. My lightning damage isn't doing any good, so I'll save my energy for healing. Um, what am I gonna do here? Taunt again? He's gonna go before I kill him, I think. So let's just go on the safe side and taunt. Six damage. <laughs> right. Alright, well I counterattacked, so that's good. Shoot him. One more. No. One more. Awesome. I have always looked down upon you. I kinda now wasted that never. wind ability, but Okay. Circular saw. One handed. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Lightning gun? Oh, that's good, too. And then Energy Core, which... Eh. Might be okay for Chilla. Maybe. And I leveled up. Okay. So, map explored. Meze gained a level. Awesome. When we opened Hadur's Vault, we all expected to be met with great treasure. It's true that each copper soldier is imbued with a damaged soul. Oh, damned soul. Whatever. A king? Wouldn't it be something if we wound up fighting King Breck a second time? Okay. Well, let me see that energy bar thing of Mabob. Where'd it go? Is it a neck item? Seriously? While I lose some en uh, I lose some intelligence, I gain some wisdom, lightning resist, and energy shield. All right, yeah, sure, I'll give it to her. Can I use? Ugh, I forgot that was fifty-five. I forgot I sunk all of my stats into something other than that. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. What about this saw blade? I lose strength, I lose vigor, I lose initiative, I gain some armor piercing, I gain a lot more damage. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll swap out Stoneheart. Wow. I lose its strength and intelligence, but wow. That is some good damage. What about this axe here? Seven out of... 
Well, then I have the Great Mace that I was hoping to use. Maybe I'll give... Maybe I'll give the Circular Saw to Meze. It's not bad, and he can use a shield with it. What about this lightning gun? Seriously, that's not a bad gun. Kella, you're not really... You're not really leaning into the ranged attacks, are you? And I need strength to use this. Yeah, okay. That's... Well, it does give her more energy. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'll take the lightning gun. Sure. Sure. Okay, so I leveled up. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do now. I could counterattack, extra attack. I want extra attack. Heck yeah. Give me the extra attack. Uh, agility. I want 35. And I want... 29? Bigger? Eh, well... I don't think I need the bigger. Let's go... Let's go with resistances. Sure, let's go with wisdom. Ooh! Get 10% extra attack chance when you deal more than 20 damage in one attack. Oh, that happens. That happens plenty. What do I need here? Wind or sun? Which one do I have less of? One sun, one sun. Lots of wind. Well... Increase hit chance after enemy you've killed for two turns. You know... You know, I have a very good melee hit chance. I think... I think maybe I don't need that skill. Okay. What do we got? Fine tunic? Fine tunic. I'm guessing it's intelligence. All right. What about you, Killa? No. What about you? Eight now. It just sucks. Really, it just sucks. Is this it? Please tell me. There is something in... No, there's not. Maybe out here, though. I, I can only hope. Fingers crossed. Aha! Aha! Water of life. Great. Anything else? There's another one. I see it. New journal entry. If you're reading this, you either have my unspoken permission to be here, or your intruder about to die. I will assume you are the former. It is entirely possible the latter have already met their fate. Just look around. I have no love for the middle world, Operancia you call it, but I do admire its apparent love for me. Or perhaps fear of me is better phrasing. Whatever the case, the mid-worlders have elevated my own standing over the millennia, from mere firesmith king to an outright god of war. Let, uh, let the sun god and the god of the wind have their sun and wind. Let them have their forests of gold and silver. The forces of nature they control are all but taken for granted by humanity, but war? War gets their attention. War is prayed to. War demands sacrifices. War is constant. Until it is not. The man known as Attila was as impressive as I have ever seen any human. Never before has one man so represented the ideas of war and peace all in one shell. There was much bloodshed in his travels through the Middle World, but in the end, there was peace. At least for as long as he lived. Not even Thade's uprising could disrupt the peace for more than one day. I wonder, did Attila ever know what he was fighting? Yes, he knew Thade was a dragon. But did he know what a dragon even is? Did he know that most dragons indeed originate from human parents? Only their birth in the Underworld makes them... different. Did he know he knew Thade's mother? Did he know that... <laughs> well, perhaps there are some things Midworlders must discover for themselves. In the meantime, I welcome you to take anything to use for you. 
In the meantime, I welcome you to take anything of use to you in here. I deem you worthy of it, if you are not already dead, that is. Great! So we're about to go have a nice long conversation with a jackass. Perfect. I'm sure he's also not responsible for his brother's kidnapping, right? I mean, that would be absurd, right? Oh, boy. Oh, wow! They can even reveal treasure chests. Spiked round shield. Well, what do we got here? Is it worth it? 16, wow. Wow. 16, yeah. Certainly better than, you know what? Certainly better than an offhand weapon. Uh, I lose some strength and vigor. How much strength and vigor? More than I'd like to. Definitely. But that shield... Oy. If I was using Meze, he would get this shield for sure. Yeah. Maybe it's time I switched out Stoneheart. I lose more strength and I lose intelligence. But dang. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I'll do it. I mean, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. But I'll do it. Okay, if I recall, there was one other thing I wanted to do. I was getting stressed about. Oh. Well. Okay. Secrets, 9 out of 10. So I'm still missing something, though. Well, I'm still missing something, though. That's annoying. That's annoying. Maybe I can get out with this still on me, and there's something outside. I think this was the only other door. Can I... Are these fireflies even anything? No, not really. I'm looking around, I'm looking around, I'm not seeing anything. It's gonna fade out before I get anywhere. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, I'm still missing a secret. I... I'm gonna try to dig. Come on. I'm gonna try to dig. All chests have been found. Okay. Okay, we're back in the forest. Let's go to the cauldron and get that one thing. Stuns enemies for four turns. Very, very enticing. Sedative ingredient is the most important. Okay. Healing the least. Okay. Okay. The root should come right in front of the fungus. Okay. Then put in a crop. So it could be like this. Could be. Petal is not last, okay? In that case, it has to be first because these three go in this order. Nor does it come from the field, okay? But it is followed by a poisonous plant. Okay. The antibiotic ingredient comes from the waterfront. Well, there's only one thing left it could be, so a antibiotic fungus from the waterfront. The antibiotic ingredient comes from the waterfront. Right, right, I should have finished reading. The poisonous one comes from the mountain, okay? So, a poisonous root. Uh, the petal does not come from the field. So that means the crop has to come from the field. And the petal has to come from the woodlands. Perfect. All right. Was that the only thing? Oh, water of life. Revives an incapacitated care. Oh my god. And I get two uses of that because of the uh, passive thing that I have. Yes. The healing plant comes second. Okay. 
Poisonous will not be needed. Okay. The mountain plant comes right after the waterfront one. So... Mountain could be last. Waterfront could be second. You are forbidden to put the field petal in the mixed glass. So it has to be first. It has to be first. Because these two go in this... Um, petal. Petal, 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 petal. But this is not true for the antibiotic root. Okay. Antibiotic root. The fungus is needed, but it's not the first. Okay. So that just leaves... Sedative. Because poisonous will not be needed. Perfect! Got it! Alright. Awesome. Let me... Before I end the episode, because I'm going to end the episode, let me pull Sebastian out for Meze and Kella for Compo, because these two got to level up, I think. Let me see here. Plus, I want to give Meze some of this... Well, no. I don't need to worry about his gear. Let's just level him up. Uh, I'm going to... Endurance. Increase your HP and add physical resistance. Also decreases your hit chance. What about Turtle? Each party member's defense counterattack and makes them untargetable. Oh yeah, definitely. I have two points. Why not? Let's see. Initiative, hit rating. Well, both of those I don't really need. So let's do... Let's do... Bigger? Or defense? Or maybe one of these. Damage bonus. Well, I want to get this tree unlocked. I want to get this tree unlocked. So let's go with it rating. Yeah. And then wisdom. Vigor will, vigor will just stay where it's at. So agility and intelligence. What do I want to do? Crit chance. Intelligence will give him the ability to wear new gear. Agility will give him the chance to counterattack, which is what I want. For this guy. So let's get this to 15. There we go. Alright. His strength suffers a little, but... Okay. Actually. Maybe I don't want to do that. Can he wear all of the good stuff? What can't he wear... If his... If his strength isn't high enough? Uh, what was that thing that I couldn't wear because my strength wasn't high enough? I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, Compo. What a bear. Right. I was doing the bear, but I almost immediately regretted it. Maybe I want the wolf. What do we got here? Block, vigor, strength. I could go for strength. I could go for strength. If I go for the wolf, I have counterattack and dam damage bonus. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. And then conjure wolf spirit. All right. So now I have the option of all three. And I still have a talent point. So I could jaw lock. You also get 30% damage bonus, but you can't attack another target. Or remove buff and taunt status. Oh my god. Is this the first ability I've seen that removes the taunt status from an enemy? I, uh, huh? it is. Maybe I should take Vigor? He needs more hit points. Or Jawlock. Jawlock is pretty good. I just focus down one enemy if it's a boss. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Sure. Uh, and then Agility. We'll pump it up to 10 just because. Actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get Intelligence up. I want to be able to wear that gear. And then I should probably increase Strength so I can wear that gear as well. And... No, that's fine. That's fine. Next level, we'll get it up to 40. Okay. Any new passives? That's not what I wanted to do. When you are shapeshifted, you'll heal life every turn. Uh, what can I replace that with? 
When you take crit damage, you reflect 20. Okay. While below 40% life, your crit chance is increased. And let's swap that one. Sure. And Meze. Party gets a 15% hit chance bonus for three turns if you taunt an enemy. It also has 50% chance to remove the fear effect. Oh. That sounds good. You get 5% life. When you heal, gain 15 defense. Your sun skills cost less. Maybe I'll swap that one out. Yeah, I'll swap that one out. Uh, where am I going to put turtle? I got a lot of these. What's the difference between taunt and thorns? Taunt all enemies, 100% chance. Taunt your enemies for 75% chance. Yeah, we'll swap that one out. Okay. What about you, Compo? What am I going to do with you? You know, I'm not a big fan of the bird. Frighten all enemies for three turns. I'm going to put wolf in this bar and then bear right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, and we'll take this off. And Meze will take this off. Okay. Good. I think that's fine. I'll swap my, swap my party back, and then we'll save. Sebastian, I'm going to put you there. Meze, you go there. Good. All right. That was, that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. But we got through it. Now we just need to talk to Hadur. You know what? I'm not going to end the episode here. I'm going to rest. I'm going to save. And we're going to talk to Hadur. All this crap we had to go through for this, we're going to talk to Hadur. And then we'll end the episode. I'm not leaving it here. This guy has a lot to... We need to talk to this dude. It is unlikely Hadur will allow us to return here once we enter his palace. Are you sure we are ready? I mean... I still have a secret I haven't found. I only have 96% of the map. Not to mention that there's whatever this is plus this door. But yeah, yeah, we're ready. Let's talk to this Joker. The companions unlock the door, not knowing what to expect on the other side. They were greeted by darkness and silence. For a full minute, they moved forward with only enough light to see a few steps ahead. Until suddenly, they found themselves in the presence of Hadur, seated upon his throne, with an appropriately godly presence. Fiery light filled the room in an instant. If this was some sort of intimidation tactic by the Firesmith King, it was working. You have arrived. Hadur's words were stern, yet strangely inviting. Not quite welcoming, but inviting. We have, Lord Hador. A lifelong mission brings me to you, whilst those with me seek an audience with you for other important reasons. Your reasons are the same, whether you know it or not. You, Sebastian, seek to fulfill a personal prophecy involving the finest blade I ever crafted. Everyone else, you aim to find my brother. Your world will die without him. Yet you stand no chance against the dragon who has enslaved Nokirai without the very sword Sebastian so desperately pursues. Our paths are linked. They are. But to face the dragon's flame in the underworld, you must be prepared. Prepared? You mean, with the sword we seek? And did you say the underworld? You will need the sword, yes. And the armor I have yet to craft for you. The dragon holds my brother in the underworld, and he has no reason to leave the realm that fuels his powers. You have no choice but to confront him there. But how? 
We have no means to enter that dreadful place. You will. But first, return to the Copper Forest. To the west, you will find the axe of the Iron Needer. Only with this mystical tool will you be capable of retrieving a limb from the three branch tree, from which your new armor will be forged. Upon your return, you will know everything I have to tell you. Now, take the west exit. Do not keep me waiting. So more copper forests. Okay, good. Good, because I didn't get enough of this the first time around. Hopefully we're done with the axe cutter, uh, the wood cutters. Nope, I see one right there in the corner. Great. You, you wouldn't be able to show me where the axe is, would you? I'm going to assume it's that big statue there in the background. He's holding it. Or it's near him. Back in this dreadful forest. Yeah. At least we won't have to worry about weapon-wielding woodcutters anymore. He surely called them off. Oh, oh Yoshka. Right? No. Maybe. But you did predict some death traps earlier that we never really saw. Hear that churning? I think we're about to. Okay, yeah. Uh, this will be where I end the episode. Uh, so, until next time, thank you everyone for joining me. Stay safe, and God bless you. <laughs>